and see if anybody comes on. <laughs> Seeing if I can pull this up on the team page. on. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to give it a minute and see if anybody comes on. I'm just sending some invites out. Well, that's all I can send. Okay. So I'm just uh, getting in for the evening into my office. Um, it's been a slow day for me today. So I'm drinking my coffee. Okay, so I have my phone recording me, and I have my laptop with the live on it, because I have a habit of not being able to see um, uh, the chat. I can't see comments on my phone. So hopefully tonight I'll be able to see comments if people come on. If not, you can watch this later. Um, I didn't give any warning that I was going to go live, so that doesn't help. Um, I just got to stop watching that page. Um, okay, give me a second. I'm going to move you. Now I can't put you back. Nope. Going to have to deal with different times. It's bothering me. I'm going to try and get into the habit of doing a live once a week. Um, probably Tuesday evenings. Um, probably around 9 o'clock. I'm a little late tonight. It's 9.18. Um, but uh, I'm going to do a little bit of training each week uh, on different things. Tonight I want to show you how I keep track of my sales goal uh, throughout the month. Um, now, as most of you know, my sales are normally quite a bit higher. Uh, I aim to hit 2,000 every month. Not every month do I get to do it. Some months I don't even hit 1,000, but for the most part, I land around 1,500. This month, I decided instead of having a PRV goal, I was going to have a dollar amount goal. So I figured out um, what 2,000 PRV is in dollar amount, which is just taking the PRV that you're aiming for, whether it's 200, 500, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, whatever your goal is for that month. I did post a chart on um, how much you can earn at certified or higher just with your PRV alone does not include any team bonuses or anything like that just strictly off your own PRV um, so that'll help you to decipher where you want to land um, so even if it's only just a 200 PRV then you take that 200 PRV and you times it by 1.32 that is our peg rate that turns the PRV into Canadian dollars. So for me to hit the 2000 this year, this year, I guess it is this year. It's just first month. Sorry, I thought somebody was here. Um, for me to hit the 2000 PRV, I aimed a little higher and I said I wanted to set a goal for $3,000 in Sensi sold this month. And I'm happy to say I've done it. And I still have a few days left of the month. So I'm going to try for another 330, which is 250 PRV. 
So I'm going to try and reach that to land at 2,500 PRV for the month. It is totally possible if you put the work in every day. You don't have to do hours on hours, but if you average five contacts a day, um, you can get good sales every month. So I'm going to show you how I broke it down. You can break it down by weeks, by month, or by day. You figure out what your goal is. So if it's 250 PRV, it's $330. If you're going to break it up by the month, you write your month down and you write your goal down. And I didn't start this till the 10th, so that's where this all comes in. But every day, you write your day and you write your sales. I have three pages to do this. Um, so I'm just going to lift up my book. So this here's this last week. So see how there's not a lot of sales per day? I don't want to wear myself out. So I aim for, you know, but $110 a day in sales. And that will reach me to my 2000 PRV. If you want, hmm, where's my calculator? I just reorganized my whole office and I, I can use the one on my laptop, I think. If you wanted to do 250 PRV, which is your active, 250, no, nope, I want 330 is your sales, divided by, say, 20 days. That is only $16 a day in sales, $16.50. That's it. To reach 200, 250 PRV, $330 for the month, that would only be $16.50 a day, Monday to Friday. That doesn't even include the weekends. Weekends off. It's not hard. And if you aim to do one sale a day, or two sales every other day. You got this. So the way I keep track of my customers, I, uh, oh, I got a kink in my neck. I can't turn my neck very much. I have three binders, but remember I've been doing this for four years. I have three binders. My pink one is for my current customers, people who have bought in the last three months. Not bad. My green one is people who have bought in the last year. Yeah, still getting there. And my yellow one is people who have bought beyond that one year. So, nope, sorry. Yellow one is people in the last year. Still not too bad. So in the last 12 months. And then my green one is actually from 2019 and older. So those are, there's a few in there. And these are mainly from um, one-time customers. There is uh, some people from some parties, the occasional Facebook ad. Um, and some of them I can still get orders from, but they only order once or twice a year kind of thing. Um, but some are also events. So not every customer you get, you're going to keep. you got to remember that. You have to treat them really, really well for them to stick around. So what I do is I have... Let's go to the month. I have little dividers. This has got January, December, and November, the last three months. So I have little sheets... So their name goes on the very top, their phone number, how I know them. I circle if they're a VIP, if they have club, if they've hosted, if they've joined. 
And I do have a spot for orders, but honestly, I don't fill that out. Um, I'll put a little sticky note in there if uh, I've sent them something extra special or something like that. Um, and then I just have them in a slip cover to protect them. Because when you do a lot of flipping, they're going to rip. You can do this with full size sheets of paper and hand write them, stick them in a binder, go to the dollar store and buy the sheet protectors. You just need to have the calendar dividers, whether you hand write them yourself or whatnot, you need something to divide them. And you need a sheet per customer. So everybody that's bought in January is right here. That is quite a few people for me. Anybody who has bought in December, who has not rebought yet so far, is in here. And anybody that bought in November, oh, I got to move her, her over, is in here who haven't rebought. I only have three left from November who haven't reordered. And now that I'm looking at it, this one has to move to January. So I have two. I haven't updated this book yet. So everybody in here will get customer mail. These are my current customers, my reoccurring customers, um, my favorite peeps. In the yellow book are people who have ordered beyond that three months, but still in the last 12. So this is where the rest of the calendar goes. Um, so I have October backwards through to December. No, what's that? February. Yeah. Cause then I'm going to take the beginning of next month. I'm going to flip to the back of the book and that's my February. So I'm going to open that up and I'm going to put this into my current book. And then these ones here, I'm going to do my best to get them to reorder. It's been a year since they ordered. If they don't order by the end of February, they go into my green book for uh, beyond one year. So you want to get these guys up into the new book. And then as well, aim to get these guys as well. I have one for every single one of my customers. Somebody's watching. Hi! <laughs> Um, I guess it's been a busy night, eh? Uh, but I have one for every single one of my customers that uh, I keep track of. And I look at those books numerous times throughout the month. And it tells me, uh, again, who's ordered, who hasn't. I can put little sticky notes of, you know, they lost their job or what's going on, why they're not purchasing. Um, if they're looking for certain items, I can also do that. Uh, I find it is so easy, uh, just to flip through and every night that you end up with orders, you just take them out of their old slot and put them into the new one and just flip them over and it keeps it at everything current. Um, I also use AMI, otherwise known as Amy or Maven. It's a follow-up app. Um, No, okay. Um, it's a follow-up app. You can use the free version. Uh, you can use the paid version. The paid version hooks right up to our workstation and it downloads all of our orders and all of that. So if you put an order in under somebody else's name, it's going to show up in Maven under their name. Um, it's great for follow-up. It does reminders and birthdays. Uh, it helps with the team. And, uh, it also, as long as you stay on top of it, uh, and anything that you bulk order, you can divide into single orders on Maven. So you have a track record of all the purchases from that customer. Um, but for sales, honestly, it's contact people, get a hold of them and get the information out. I did a little post on the page that uh, said to reach out to your customers 
ask them how their Scentsy stash is, remind them these are the last chance items, send them the link. If they say, no, thanks, I'm good, you say, okay, great. You know, here is the new catalog link for you to browse. Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Order going in on the first kind of thing. And put it out like that. Um, once they have a look, you will normally get orders. Uh, whether it be for this month or next month. Either way, you want that catalog in their hand. And you want to check them with the last chance stuff before the end of this month. So, did anybody have any questions? Um, you'll have to catch the whole thing from the beginning. I showed how I keep track of my sales every month between my little, there, there we go. How I write down my sales goal and write down all my sales throughout the, the day and come up with a final total, total at the end of the day. And it feels amazing to watch that goal number drop. Um, you can write down your goal throughout the each month, uh, which is what I do, or you can write it down each week, what your goal is to hit. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and, uh, I am here to help you set your goals and reach your dreams. So I'm going to go for the night. Message me if you have questions. Keep dreaming.